Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 7 of Felid Berserker for the CSDC challenge. I am your host, Ultraviolet4. The end of the last episode, we got our second rune here in Shoals. Uh, we have not dropped a life yet, so uh, we got all of our bonus challenge points this week to get a rune without dying and then get a second rune before dying twice. And now I'm going to try to aim to win without losing any lives. I mean, you should do that anyway, but part of my series to prove to you that feel it is not a weak species, as most people tend to think. Um, this is my second recorded feel it, and I haven't lost a life yet. So there you go. It's like I'm playing the species without extra lives. Is <laughs> basically how this is working. Um, anyway, we've got a little bit more of shoals to clear here. Um, which I want to do because there might be loot in these little huts. And then we'll be heading to either uh, Vaults or that other place, Elf. And the Merfolk Aquamance is scary because its spell is hurt and it's a blinker, so I don't want to go berserk against it. Ah, okay, it's a scroll of fear that we're carrying around. I forgot we had an unknown scroll. Uh, that's a fan of Gales. We've already got one of those. I'm looking for the file of floods. Uh, and we're probably going to encounter Ilsu somewhere, which isn't the worst because she doesn't see invis. Um, I've been using Ice Blast against these water nymphs to kill them. Um, I guess we'll ID this amulet. It's a, an amulet of the acrobat. You don't need to go all in on evasion. Anyway, we're much better with Guardian Spirit. It's by far the best amulet we could have. Suddenly Cyclops. I don't want to fight him while standing in water because I've already learnt how poorly that goes. Basically my paws missed every time so it was super poor. Get it? <laughs> uh, we find Val Clutch. I don't know why I'm still bothering to pick up books because it just makes me sad <laughs> that I can't learn any of these spells. But we found Val Clutch. Um, and Ilusu is just not here. I thought she was guaranteed to spawn in every shoals. Maybe she isn't. Or maybe she's hiding somewhere. Say in one of these corners. We'll never know. She might be... I don't know that she ever spawns on shoals too. But she might be up with the fire dragons wherever they were. Up here. No? Maybe that was shoals 1. Yeah, up here. With the fire dragons maybe? I don't know. Anyway. I'm not going to worry my head about it too much. Okay, so we've got two runes. So, we can either go to Elf or go to Vaults. Um, in s I would not be comfortable with Elf if we didn't have Spirit Shield. So, we currently have 116 HP. Um, which means we can survive a max damage crystal sphere from an annihilator, which is 102. Uh, if we just had the 85 HP, I wouldn't feel comfortable going there. But I think I feel okay about this. Let me just check. Do we have any silent scrolls anywhere? I'd feel a lot happier going in there if I know if I knew that when things went bad, I could do a silent scroll. Um. Mm. I still feel like this is maybe better than going to vaults. So one of the scary things about vaults is getting locked in by wardens. Uh, because our, our feel it superpower is running away from stuff. But if we ever get locked in a room, we can't run. We have to stay and fight. So I'm going to start trying 
elf, even if we do elf one and two, and we leave the scary vault, um, that should be fine. Um, I could walk around with all our protection on and just switch to MR when and if we see one of the Banisher Elves. Um, I don't know, this stops us getting the turn one Banish, just walking around with this extra MR on, so I feel okay about that. Also, wow, we just stabbed all of those dudes. Yeah, let's uh, back up here. The thing I am most afraid of is um, lightning bolts. We can get RF now. Oh, also, we just made it to six pips of piety. So that's the other cool thing about elf, uh, because all these all these monsters in here are massive nerds who cast spells. Trog's gonna be super happy whenever we kill one. I'm gonna get lots of piety. And also, most of these regular elves don't see invis either, so we can use our potions of invis if need be. Uh, that's Jorgren. He is real scary. Um, his LRD can't miss. His grasping roots can constrict us without missing. Um, and then, of course, he's got Iron Shot, which we don't have much HP, so we don't want to take too many of those. CC invis. He does not. I wonder if I if I just quaff invis and I just try to fly up to him and stab him. That's real risky. That's not something you should say on a feeler, so let's not do that. I'll just exclude him and we'll try to work around him. Uh, there's a banisher. Um, I sort of don't want to fight them either. Although, if I am going to fight them, I'd like to try to sneak up on the... Nope, they're all alive. Oh, so they're all awake. Okay, let's back up. Where's that exit? Oh god, I walked past the exit. Oh god, what have I done? It's okay, I have a digging wand. I can make new exits, but that was a mistake. Okay, we've got to be really afraid of um, the sorcerers. Because their whole damnation can't miss. Which is not what you want to hear when you are a 37 evasion character. Yep, let's bail. I'll feel okay about fighting that if it we go all the way to the exit. I don't want to do that. Uh, we can use some cheeky ice blasts here to hit the sorcerer behind. Yeah, let's just finish him. Behind the archer. I mean, using my ice blast charges like that, it's kind of a waste, but that's, that's a really threatening enemy, especially when it's hasted. Oh, we fell through a shaft, which, whenever you get shafted on Elf 2, you're almost certainly going to be going into the Hall of Blades, which it looks like we have done. Man, <laughs> this shouldn't be a thing, devs. Why do you get shafted into the Hall of Blades? It's crap. It's a rune door area. You shouldn't, shouldn't be able to get teleport trapped or shafted in. It's crap. Okay, so... The good thing about this is that none of these dancing weapons see invis. Uh, I'm gonna make some bros. This, this sucks. I'm gonna rage make bros. And we're just gonna run to the exit. Uh, a plus eight halberd of distortion comes into view. Hang on, I need my bros to kill that. Um, I kind of don't want to go invis yet, but I'm going to preemptively put up a trog's hand. And I'm going to help with ice blast here. 
Uh, let's make more bros. And more bros. It's fine to use all our piety. We're in elf. And we just got shafted into the Hall of Blades. Oh, why are all my bros ignoring the <laughs> the Deep Elf Blade Master? Uh, they don't see Invis, so I could just use that. But I feel like our trolls should just kill him. Um, but there's all this other stuff. Um, what can we do against him? Not much. Yeah, we don't know what other insanity is in here. I think it's worth just quaffing the invis. Uh, because if we if we drop to low HP, um, one we got to get out of the hall of blades here, and then two we don't know where the upstairs are anywhere or what else is lurking around. Okay, what? Uh, do I want to keep fighting in here? No, I think I just want to leave. I don't want to be in the hall of blades. Damn you, devs. Alright, we're back in view. Alright, and now we've got to search for an upstair. Scroll of Fear is a nice pickup. Are we still tr we still have a manual for stealth and dodging. It's great. Uh, I should I should have done a passive aggressive cool play after we got shafted. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's our upstair. All right, cool. Very cool, thanks devs. That was a pretty fun and exciting experience. Uh, we got to we got to call five bros in arms and use an invis potion. Although note that we are immediately back up to six pips of piety due to getting heaps of piety here. There are a lot of nerds <laughs> to to kill. Uh oh, that was a lightning bolt backing up here. Oh right, I don't have any... I can't get my way to the upstair because we never explored to this area where we are. Um, I don't like this fort. I see, I see this little area here with stone walls and a bogget. Um, I'm gonna leave that until we've on the rest of the floor. Uh, here's a fire type. I should put my ring of protection from fire on. Oh, suddenly we have four four of these guys. Uh, let's make a bro in arms. Let's get off the wall so we're not getting double zapped by lightning there. Alright, go my troll. Alright, we got scary ones coming. Um, let me put my MR ring back on because we could have, I gave him a chance to, one turn to banish us there. Because I didn't have three pips of MR. Alright, here's a wizard. He could also have banish. I've got the ring on now though. Let's back up, let's heal. He could have crystal spear, so I, I want to be max HP when we fight him. Alright, we're, well... I may as well go in this room now that we've fought everything. We've got a summoning scroll for our troubles. Uh, that's a demonologist. He can banish. We've got... That is a hell sentinel. Oh god. Okay, let me just... Okay, he stepped in front. Let me try a wand of acid here. Oh god, I didn't get him. Alright. 
Uh, I was hoping I could just finish off the demonologist there, but I didn't kill him. Um, I think we might need a blink scroll here. So what's our HP? It's 85 right now. Hell Sentinel can do Iron Shot for close to 100 damage. Iron Shot 3D33, which is 99. So if I want to get out of one shot range, I need a blink here. All right, goodbye blinking scroll. And then we are faster than the Hell Sentinel, so I can just walk away. Man, that sucked. If that acid had just hit, we would have killed it. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> Without ever knowing the way. All oh, right, Jorgren. Hang on. No, I do still want to avoid Jorgren. Is it Demon Lotus again? If we can just get him to come to us so we can fight him and only him and not demons, that's fine. Yeah, see, he's standing in front of his executioner. So, yeah. Not a threat. Okay, um, I am going to avoid Jogren, so we'll just go down to Elf 2. Um, I don't like that. That's Azel along with a bunch of other things all at once. Um, okay, let's stay away from all this stuff. We'll take another stair down. Is this much better? Yeah, we're far away now. Oh, right, that's a tip of death mage. We don't have any RN. No negative energy resistance. So I'm going to go Berserk because he's quite a threat. Um, when we're taking max damage from his draining bolts, that's quite threatening. Um, and he doesn't blink, so going Berserk is not, uh, is not bad for us if we're just one-on-one. -on -one. Vorax of Distortion. Oh god. It hasn't woken up. Oh, he woke up. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well, we have no choice but to fight it. I was hoping that I could just stab it. Um, but yeah, okay. So it had a few chances there to banish us. Did it hit us? I think it hit us once. Once. And then missed us the rest of the time. Yeah, I could have, if I were super afraid that Distortion would say getting banished would straight up kill the character I could have quaffed invis there but I wasn't that afraid I mean if we get banished now um, we're super stealthy we're fast so we could probably just run around avoiding monsters till we found an exit uh, okay it's another really scary room is that the same room no it's just a different scary room And we don't get to stab him more. Alas. Alright, so something I should also mention. We have a digging wand. So, um, I always have the option to just dig a kill hole. If we're, say, in a big open room against a lot of elves, um, you dig. I won't actually do it, but you dig like this, and then you dig back the other way. Stab, stab, stab. And again. <laughs> it's just so much easier. Um, do I go do the Hall of Blades? Probably not. And I like how the door's open, so the weapons have been potentially dancing around. Alright, so I can't... Oh yeah, we're not doing Hall of Blades. Um, I don't... Can we fight that stuff? I mean, we kind of can. 
We can fight that stuff. Let me preemptively put uh, the Ring of Poison Resistance on. And if I use Trog's Hand, we shouldn't get slept by Azel. Um, why don't I Meow? And then make a Bro. Or two. And just use these to kill all this stuff. Um, okay, well, Azel never came. Uh, that's okay. If, we're, if I'm 1v1ing Azel, I think I can fight her. I was mostly afraid of Azel plus elves, although, look, there you go, there are elves in there as well. Um, I need to have Trog's hand up so I don't get slept. Alright, the Scimitar noticed us. Damn it. Alright, we'll go again. Go again. Here she comes. Alright, so why am I so afraid of her? One, she's fast. Her poison arrow really hurts and she sleeps you. She's also really evasive, she's hard to hit. Um, well, I can hit her with a couple of ice blasts as she approaches because those can't miss. And then what if I just make a bro? I think then we should be alright. Uh. This elf down here is doing lightning bolts. I want to get off the wall, so I'm not getting double zapped. I'm going to make another bro. Alright, we're okay. Okay. Um, so, I could have gone berserk there. I don't know. Maybe that was the play. But I didn't. I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> In case we needed to blink or something. Or quaff heal wins. Oh. Why is... Oh, because I removed the exclusions. Uh, well, alright, let's just... We'll finish searching the Hall of Blades. There you go. For all you... All you Hall of Blades f um, fanboys out there. We finish our manual of dodging. Uh, this is so not worth it. The amount of experience you get from killing this stuff is really, really not worth it. And you meet potentially really dangerous enemies like this larger tang of e electrocution. Can I just run from you? No, you've now seen me. Alright, well, I could just kill it. No. Okay, I ice blasted it. Um. So the dancing weapons are very resistant to the cold. Also, why is he being shot at? Oh, because he's invis, so his bodies can't see him. So they're trying to shoot lightning bolt through lightning bolts through him. That's kind of sucks. All right. Uh, but the the point I was trying to make. What point was I trying to make? Oh yeah, the 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 weapons are resistant to cold, but Ice Blast is partially irresistible. Um, can I just enslave one of you guys? You're really annoying me. Which one of you has... Lightning Bolt, the other one. Okay. Well, that helps. Uh, it doesn't help that the short sword of speed is just straight up killing me. <laughs> Uh, let's go again with the Ice Blast. Alright, yep, that killed it. And I'm going to tell you to retreat so I can heal up. Oh, you're back. Okay, so there you go. This is why I didn't want to do Hall of Blades. We lost some more resources there. An Enslavement Charge and some Ice Blast. Oh, well. Um... Well, I think we keep going with Elf, maybe. I mean, we had some bad experiences with a Demonologist, but otherwise it hasn't been too bad. I'm going to Magic Map, so I can find our entrance here, which is here, so we'll do that at the end. And it looks like there are a boatload of shops on this floor. All the little yellow things you can see on the mini-map are probably shops. Oh, a bookshop. 
Ah, there you go. Bookshops can have manuals. So there's a manual of fighting in there. Um, which I would love. Let's get a plus for fighting aptitude. This has um, a wand that we don't know. There can't be too many of those. Clouds disintegration or scatter shot. Okay, well let's we've marked that. We're gonna want the heal wounds. It's a lot of stuff. That's a really expensive lamp of fire for 920 gold. Um, I guess I'll mark it, but that's extortion. Uh, just also, by the way, with this many shops, I'm not going to buy anything whatsoever until I see what's in all of them. Oh, I was really hoping I could stab you. This is a lot of shops. Um, the ring of the original sin, a fire and our poison ring. If that if that were RF rather than fire, I'd be kind of excited. Oh, this is a, this is Sam Buss's Elven Fire Store, so they're all fire-related items. Potion shop. Um, a bunch more heal wounds. There's a lot of stuff in this shop that I want. I think I should stop marking things because my shopping list looks like this, and just if I want to spend money, I'll just search for potions because <laughs> there are a lot of potions everywhere. Oh, Louise. Um, I've got my MR ring on, but she's still kind of threatening because she has lightning bolts. Meow. Uh, I wasn't ready to fight her just yet. That's fine. We'll just make angry bros. Who would win? One Louise or one really angry troll? Turns out Louise. Um, okay, I should just ice blast her to finish her off. Good. Okay, I'm going to remember that there is an alarm trap there. Uh, we could potentially step on that, try to wake enemies up, and then wait for them to wander out of the end vault. I um, only have four flaming left, I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to walk up and kill the eel. Evocations go to 18. Um. I really should do the rest of these shops. I don't like what Auto Explorer is doing here. It's making me go in the inside of this vault. Oh, it's an armor shop. Okay. A lot of things that we cannot use. Why did that hurt so much? I don't know. But we're going to reset. And Berserk. <laughs> Kill it in one. Uh, okay, so we have 338 gold, a ring of AC plus 3 and stealth, I like that. Um, that's probably the only thing that really stands out to me here. So the ring at the bottom is an R poison int plus 3 ring. It's technically better than the R poison ring that we have, but why do you need int as a berserker? You never do. And we have innate C in this, so it's pretty useless. Yeah, it's just this ring with AC plus and stealth that I might buy from that shop. Alright, we're done with the outside. So I think from the shops, I think we are just saving gold to get the manual of fighting. 
So other notable things in our shopping list. Um, a wand of acid with 12 charges this is really nice. And then we just have other random things in here, like random rings or random wands. Let's delete the wand of flame. I don't think we, we really need more flame charges. They're most useful when you're in your water level, so shoals. Um, okay. And then this 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 entrance is kind of bad because you can't very easily kill hole in here. Um, you still kind of can. I wonder if I should dig one anyway. I've got 14 digging charges. I'm going to do it. So you can have a little tiny one here. And maybe I'll do one on the other side just in case. No, I couldn't be bothered. You can use doors to break a line of sight in here. Oh, I, yeah, I really shouldn't be running in at that guy because there are almost certainly going to be other elves in there. And then this is three high priests who can all hit us with uh, core down damnation. Yeah, like that. Uh, which means I don't even want to run into the kill hole because we're already too hurt. We're going to run all the way back. Alright, and let's let's find those guys if they're wandering around. Well, there's one of them. Meow. Oh, he's a demonologist. Got him. Bro, are you wearing just a leather armor? It's taking no damage. Uh-oh, that's a brimstone fiend. Let me just quickly berserk this guy. Oh no, we've got more enemies coming too. Um, it's fine. We just do what we always do. We make angry bros and we hope that the angry bros don't just, okay, he is going after the real thing. What a bro. Oh no, he's not. He's chasing the elementals. Ugh. Do they see invis? No. Let me throw in a trog's hand. Oh yeah, okay, we're dying. Our, our bro keeps getting distracted by the elementals. Um, so he's not going to kill this elementalist. Alright, so the only way we're getting out of this is with another blinking scroll. Wow, I'm really surprised by all these elves that have turned up and are wandering around. Um, if I knew that were the case, I would never have berserked there. Because we now have this situation where the berserks run out and we're slowed and we've got more elves. And the thing as well is that I don't mm, I don't think you can instruct berserked allies. I think they just ignore your instructions. So I can't even tell him like I, I can't even instruct him to attack the elementalists. I think he's just gonna do whatever he wants. So, I would like to live. I'm going to blink scroll. Okay, and then now we... Do we have to haste potion? These guys are very slow. So even though we're slowed, I think we can just walk away from them. We can. Alright, the danger was just that we were stuck in that room. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, come at me, bro. Dig your way in. Oh, that was a door. Oh, okay. I could have just walked through that <laughs> rather than going all the way around. I didn't. Re I didn't even see it. All right. So we have a lot of elves wandering. I'm going to exclude the entrance, and I'm going to go Shift X Control F to forget the floor. I'm just going to mop any who are out here, like this Blade Master. I'm going to hit him with Ice Blast. He can't dodge that. Um, he hasted. That is a hasted blade master. Oh my god. Well we have another invis potion. Let me let me make a bro. It's an iron troll. Okay, the iron troll should be able to kill him pretty quickly. Never mind, he kills me even faster. Um although the iron troll kills him. Uh what has he got? Two rapiers. So I could invis here, I could also just heal wounds. 
which we have six of and hope our Iron Troll can kill the Blade Master first. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, and now we got a bit more HP. Why don't I Ice Blast? Okay, good. Oh man, <laughs> the Blade Master's scary enough without being hasted. Come on. He's an Annihilator. Uh, meow. What a nice little kill hole there. Although, actually, I don't like it with the other elves turning up. Meow. Meow. Why won't anyone give me attention? Where'd they all go? Really? They were just there. Where are you guys? There's one. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> How much? We got 20 stealth. We still got the manual. Uh, I can't get even an annihilated. Follow us around the corner. Alright, come here. Come fight me. There we go. Death Mage. I can just shut that door. Oh, we're too stealthy. <laughs> Damn it. I'm able to stab him. There we go. That works. That's easier. If you can't get the enemies to follow you, just stab them. Okay, I, I suspect there are still elves wandering around, so I'm going to do that again. Shift X, Control F. Yep, as you see. This guy has an Ice Blast one with 12 charges and a plus 6 Great Sword of Vamp. He is stacked. He's picked up half the loot in the elf chamber. Oh wow, he really picked up half the loot. He also had an amulet with reflection plus blink plus invis. Um, as well as potions of flight. Okay, well, I'm keeping that amulet with me. Uh, because that gives us a way to have evocable blink. So say, say in the situation where we we're stuck against the... Um, Earth Elementalist, or even against the um, the Blade Master, we could have blinked away from him um, and made some space. This also lets me have evocable invis, so we've only got one potion left. So we can switch to this. When we do that, we're losing a bunch of HP because we're losing our Guardian Spirit. Um, but we have yeah invis and blink. So that's a great pickup. That elf was stacked. I'm gonna go berserk here. And as you see, there are indeed a lot of elves still wandering around. So I'm glad I did that extra search. Um, will we do one more? We'll do one more. I don't think we'll find any this time. Oh, we found a master archer. Um, well, that's scary. Uh, if it were just the master archer, I think I would have gone berserk there. But the um, the Death Mage can start making Lost Souls. Um, hang on, I need to concentrate here. I don't want to randomly die. Um, I think he could kill me if he hit here. He has 25 plus a Longbow, and a Longbow is 20 damage. So that's 45. And he has Archer Tags. I'm going to heal Wounds here. And you know what? I'm just going to Ice Blast him to kill him. Okay, good. Yeah, anyway, so the the Death Mage could have been making Lost Souls, and he could have revived, potentially, the Master Archer. So I didn't want to fight, go berserk there. Oh, we stabbed him, great. Demonologist. I don't love this. I also don't love how the Annihilator is just hitting us with the Halberd from behind. That is a Crystal Spear. Um... This is where I wish I had um, silence scrolls, so I could silence him here. Because even if I heal wounds now, we're not getting out of crystal spear range. So 
Uh, heal wounds is not going to get me up to 102 HP. So I think I just have to berserk here and hope that he doesn't crystal sphere me again. Alright, he didn't. A bit of mercy. Demonologist again. Meow. He made a tormentor, but that's fine. We now have enough gold for the manual of fighting. Um, okay, well we're almost certainly going to buy that manual of fighting, but I think I'd still prefer to see what else is in this envelope before we make that call. This kill hole that we dug, we never have used once. We had to run away and we've never been back. Alright, here we go. Um, I'm going to Trog's hand preemptively for the extra regen. Yeah, so he's making lost souls. That's what I was worried about. Oh, okay, well he's blowing up my kill hole. He has a great mace of protection. Um, okay, I was considering going berserk there because he would have had a lot of AC, um, but I didn't. One of those, I didn't see which one, but someone had a great, a plus four dagger of cat's peril that had random rage on it. <laughs> I'm really glad that wasn't, um, say the, uh, who was that guy? Who was that guy? The blade master. Imagine if he had that, he had random rage on it. Would actually have been cat's peril. Uh, we got another blade master coming. Okay, as long as he doesn't haste, he's not so bad. So we're gonna make an iron troll friend. Um, and I should trog's hand, and let's see if you can take out the annihilator. Good, so I don't just die to a crystal spear. He killed another one. I thought that was one, and he killed another one again, an archer. The elves are standing, stepping around the corner, and then just getting killed by our angry iron troll. This is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> we just killed half the the elf chamber there with our one iron troll. We picked up a new scroll of blinking. Uh, what else is here? Nothing. Just a bunch of corpses. Um, he's an elementalist, so we want to. We don't want to go back to our kill hole. He's just going to blow it up. It's no point. Actually, that's really scary. This longsword of Alec. I'm gonna ice blast it to death. Ah, uh, that's a master archer suddenly. Um, I. Okay, if I weren't being chased by an elementalist, I'd go berserk, but I am. So I think we need to use our last invis potion. Um, our HP is low enough that I don't want to switch to the invis amulet because that's going to take even more time. Although having reflection would be funny as well, but we're just going to quaff the last invis potion. And that way he can't see invis. I mean, he can still guess where we are, but... Uh, he's going to guess wrong a lot, <laughs> and we also then get to stab him. Alright, so we got elves wandering around again. We're going to exclude the entrance. Shift X, Control F. Okay, there are none. The element, elementalist just stayed hanging around here. Okay, I think maybe I should have berserked that. I think for those annihilators, I should just be killing them as quickly as possible. There's a resist corrosion ring. Um, I don't know why I'm not picking that up. Never noticed us. Okay, good. Yeah. What are you doing up there? 
Yeah. The danger of berserking against an annihilator is that they are a blinking enemy. So they can potentially then blink away and cause your berserk to run out. But at least if we're doing it in a kill hole, if he blinks away then he's hopefully not shooting us at least. Um, oh, you went behind us. You're very tricksy. He's also just owning us. Oh no, he went lost soul too. Alright, we're fine. Whew. Okay, I think I should have berserked immediately. Uh, okay, cool. So it looks like we've done most of the end vault here. Um, we've got spells. An amulet of inaccuracy. Very exciting. A bunch of, a lot of items here that we can't use. None of these except the phantom mirror. Nothing in there that we can use. Wow, so this is most disappointing elf loot of all time, maybe. That's, okay. Uh, so I guess that means we are buying a manual of fighting. But man, what disappointing loot here. Alright, so we get that. We've got a plus four fighting aptitude now, which I think, let's focus that. Let's get a bunch more HP. Um, how much gold do we have? 252. Um, let's go for the ones that we don't know. Clouds, perfect. That's a bargain to buy a wand of clouds for that cheap. Um, and there's another one somewhere. Uh, there isn't. I think we just, we wait now for the 420 gold to buy the 12 charge wand of acid. That's going to be my next play. Alright, well that's it for this episode. So if you join me in the next one, we'll be heading to vaults. See you then.